Big thank you to Earthquake for making Ping Bypass and everyone at Sandstar Ping Bypass for their support. If you would like your own Ping Bypass server without the hassle of server upkeep, check out Sandstar Ping Bypass in the link in the description. This tutorial will show you exactly what you need to do to set up an Earthhack Ping Bypass server with minimal or no Linux knowledge. I'm going to use Google Cloud for this tutorial as it is quite easy to use and has a great trial period. It does require a credit card, no you can't use PayPal, but it does not charge you or auto charge when it is finished. Go ahead and start a free trial of Google Cloud and go back to the home page once you've got it set. First, let's get our dependencies sorted. These are the packages needed to run the server. Click on go to console and at this home screen, go to the sidebar and click compute engine. Then click enable. This will take a long time, so hold tight and relax. Don't click at a refresh. It will redirect you to the compute engine homepage when it's finished. Before we create a VM, let's open up the port we will use with our ping bypass server. Go up to the sidebar and click VPC network. Your VPC network won't be in the same place as mine. I just moved it so it's easier to see. Once VPC network loads, click firewall. Now that we are here, click create firewall rule. This will allow us to open and close ports for our servers. Give it a name, something descriptive like ping bypass dash port. A description if you'd like, make sure that logs are off, those cost extra. Direction of traffic is set to ingress, action on match is set to allow, targets is set to all instances on the network. Set source IPv4 to 0.0.0 forward slash 0. This allows incoming connections from any IP. It's better to have it this way in case you connect from a different IP. It will still work. Now choose what port you want ping bypass to use. It can be any number 1 through 65535 but I would recommend not using ports 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 53, 443, 465, 1194, and 25565 as they are likely in use by other programs and can cause conflicts causing your server not to start. I'm going to set my port to 6000 as it's an easy number. Click create and wait for the port to be opened. Now that we've got the port opened, let's make a VM. In the sidebar, go back to compute engine and click create instance. First, give the VM a name. Next, and most important, select your server location. Your server location should be as close as possible to the server you want to play on. Some common ones, us.crystalpvp.cc and 2 b 2 tpvpnet will need a server location in Montreal. Set the region to the location you would like. Zone shouldn't affect ping. I have not found any difference between any zone options. Now that we've got the location set, make sure that series is set to E2 and the machine type is E2 medium with two vCPUs and four gigabytes of memory. This will make sure the servers are as stable as possible. Now scroll down to boot disk and click change. In the new menu that opens, click where it says operating system and change it to say Ubuntu. Where it says version, change this to say Ubuntu 22.04. And under it, it needs to say x86 underscore 64 AMD 64. If it says anything else, it will not work. Click Select. Now scroll down and check Allow HTTP and Allow HTTPS Traffic, then click Create. Now wait for your VM to be created. Once it appears, click SSH. This will open a secure console to our VM. It might take a moment to connect. Once in the console, type sudo apt update. This command will update our VM with all of the packages we need to install. This command might take a while. The next command to enter is sudo apt install openjdk-8-jdk. -dash -dash this will install Java 8, the version we need. When it asks if you want to continue, press Y and enter. And the last command we'll need to use is sudo apt install unzip. We are now done with our dependencies. All right, so let's go back to our own machine for a moment. We're going to download the latest versions of Earthhack, Headless MC, HMC Specifics 1.12.2, and Headless Forge. The links to the, each of these is in the description. Once you've got these downloaded onto your machine, make a folder called mods and place Earthhack Headless Forge, and HMC Specifics 1.12.2 in it. Then create a zip file out of this folder. We will use this later.
Now go back to your VM console. Click the Upload File arrow and click Choose Files. Select Headless MC and click Open. When it finishes uploading, type ls and press Enter. The result should show Headless MC ending with .jar. If it ends with anything else, re-upload the file. If you get an error after attempting to upload, click retry and attempt the upload again. Once successfully uploaded, type java-jar headless and press tab to complete the name of the file. Press enter and headless MC will start. Type quit once it is open. This has created the config files for headless MC. Type nano tilde slash headless MC config dot properties and paste in the text in the description. Side note, if you're trying this on another VPS provider with less RAM, edit the dash XMX flag to be whatever RAM you have minus about 300 megabytes to keep a nice buffer between your OS and Minecraft. If you don't edit this, you'll get the dreaded exit code 137 out of memory. Once finished, press Ctrl and X together, then press Y, and then Enter to save and quit Nano. Now back at the console, type java-jar headless and tab complete it and enter. Once in headless MC, type download 1.12.2. Once finished, type forge 1.12.2. Once finished, type login and the email of the Minecraft account you want on the ping bypass server. After the email, type the word password and the password to the account. It will then error out and require you to go to account.live.com forward slash activity to allow the login from the server's location. I have already done this with my account so I don't have to authenticate the login. Now that we have logged in, downloaded Forge and Minecraft 1.12.2, let's get them installed. Press Ctrl and Z together to force quit Headless MC and run java-jar headless and a tab complete to start headless mc. Now type launch 0 dash id and press enter. Side note, you need to enter the id number of the forge install. It might not be 0, it may be 1, but the id next to the forge install is the one that you need to choose. At this point, Minecraft should be downloading and launching. Once it finishes launching, it will output messages in the console ending with because it's not playing anymore. Press Ctrl and Z together to quit Minecraft. Now we are going to upload our mods folder to the server. Click on the upload arrow and choose files. Select the mods zip file that we made earlier and click open and upload the files. This might take a while. Once it is finished uploading, type unzip mods.zip then type ls to see our working directory. Now type mv tilde slash mods space tilde slash dot minecraft slash. This will move our mods to where Minecraft can use them. Now type java dash jar headless and tab complete to launch headless mc and launch zero dash id to launch forge. When the line cached sphere in something milliseconds appears, type quit. We have created the rest of the config files we need. Now back at the console, type nano tilde slash dot minecraft slash earthhack slash ping bypass dot properties. Once in nano, type pb dot server equals true. pb dot ip equals in the internal IP of the VM. This usually starts with 10. Dot or 192.168. If it starts with any other numbers, it is an external IP. And for the last line, type pb.port equals and then the port you opened earlier. Control and X, Y, and then enter to save and quit nano. Now we're in the home stretch. Launch headless MC one more time. Type Java jar headless tab complete it and type launch 0 dash id let it launch fully and go back to your compute engine menu and take note of your vm's external ip
fire up Minecraft with Earthhack and put your external IP in port where it has a book in the top right corner of the multiplayer menu. For proxy IP, put your VM's external IP and proxy port your open port. Click done, turn ping bypass on, and connect to a server of your choice. Congratulations, you're now ping bypassing.